I know politics is becoming one giant cabaret, but who wrote this script? <music> Greetings and welcome to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little eager of the internet today. Well, there seems to be a new trend going around the, at least the internet and of course the mainstream media and the democratic political uh, scene, if you will. And I, I think it's quite weird. And I thought I'd put my two cents in on it because I'm an expert at weird. Definition of weird spelled W-E-I-R-D, which is already weird to begin with. As an adjective, of strange or extraordinary character. Odd, fantastic. See why I'm an expert? I can also think of a few other people that describes as well. Two, of relating to, of relating to or caused by witchcraft or the supernatural, magical. As a noun, and this is probably the, the context in which they're, they're meaning it, Fate, destiny, especially ill fortune. Well, I can tell you, we will have ill fortune if we vote for the Democrats again. And number two, soothsayer. And I'll tell you, you'll always hear them either predicting the future, which they're always wrong, or reading someone's mind or telling someone's, you know, telling, telling us what someone's thinking when they don't have a clue. I give you now some of what has started this weird trend. 99 days now until the election, and the Harris campaign this morning seems to have fully embraced weird as a line of attack against Donald Trump and J.D. Vance. Some of what he and his running mate are saying, well, it's just plain weird. I guess she would know weird. guys are just weird that's where they are it's the weirdest thing he'll he'll go and like literally hug an american flag now i love the flag but i mean it's like weird what he does I think that my colleagues are pointing out the obvious that the agenda, the way they talk to people, the way they address people. You mean how like most people can understand what they're saying and not feel talked down to like you guys do? It is bizarre. It's, it's weird. It is weird. It's only bizarre to someone that would plan their own kidnapping for a mercy boat. Weird is kind of a funny phrase to use because it's bizarre, but at the same at the same moment, we've got to say it's it's this is a serious moment in this country. Oh, it's so weird and that's so funny, but this is a serious moment. Double speak, anyone? So I think we're being really kind and gracious by just calling you weird. Yeah, gracious by just calling us weird. After you've called us every other name in the book. Yeah, shut up. And frankly, J.D. Vance, just dumb Vance, is pretty weird. I don't think Kamala Harris is going to pick anyone uh, as weird and creepy uh, as J.D. Vance. It demonstrates and shows us exactly what he believes in by selecting J.D. Vance, who is um, quite, um, <laughs> you know, as the campaign said, weird. These are, these are weird people on the other side. Donald Trump seems to be drifting away from his own nominee because he's had so many weird views. Unfortunately, Vance's weird views are not even winning praise from within his own party. Donald Trump and his weirdo running mate and the Republican apparatus behind them will regroup. It's not just that he said a lot of things that are weird. It's not just a, 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 a weird style that he brings. It's that this leads to weird policies. Oh. You mean like those racist highways and overpasses you keep talking about? Now you see why I ask who wrote this script for this. And uh, do you guys really, really want to go down that road?
weird. Hello, my name is Cal Wilderness. Hello. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> I'm the Greek goddess from Miami, Athena Dion. Yeah. I'm the illusion that causes much confusion, Miss T. Lo Ivy. Really? T. Lo? That's what you're calling yourself? T. Lo? Well, at least it's accurate. Hi! Hi! You know it. Indeed, I do. <laughs> Thank you, George Floyd. And how do you talk about vice presidential possibilities as Senator Hi, my name is Cooper, and this is a day in my life as a White House intern. This is so fun, and it's really prestigious. <laughs> the 80s just called. They want their style and personality back. She's a woman. Hey, the 70s call. Do you remember this? Cause I'm a woman. Well, after all this, I only have two things to say. You want to call me weird? Call me weird all you want. But it's better than being a Democrat. And two, call me weird. I'll say thank you. I do hope you enjoyed my video today. Please make sure you go to below where all my links are. Support your channel. Share the share the video. Come and see me on Thursdays at 7, 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern for the Talk to Me America show where the world wants to know what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time. AMF.